of Monique here. Today is the day. The kids of Claremont have returned to in-person school. Over the past year, I've taught full-time and worked full-time in order to serve my kids and the families I serve to get homes. It has not been easy, but now I have a little bit more time to focus on you. Because I'm giving a little gift today, I'm giving you a little gift. Here are the things you need to know to pass your home inspection. Home buyers want to know your home inside and out. While home buyers are as individual as the homes they plan on purchasing, one thing they share is a desire to ensure that the home they will call their own is as good beneath the surface as it appears to be. Will the roof end up leaking? Is the wiring safe? What about the plumbing? These and others are questions that the buyers looking at your home will seek professional help to answer. According to industry experts, there are at least 33 physical problems that will come under scrutiny during a home inspection. We've identified the 10 most common of these, and if not identified and dealt with, any of these 10s could cost you dearly in terms of repair. In most cases, you can make a reasonable pre-inspection yourself if you know what you're looking for, and knowing what you're looking for can help you help prevent these little problems from growing into costly and unmanageable ones. So here are the 10 things you need to know to pass your home inspection. When you put your home on the market, you don't want any unpleasant surprises that could cost you the sale of your home. By ha having an understanding of these 10 problem areas as you walk through your home, you'll be arming yourself against future disappointment. Okay, so number one, defective plumbing. Defe defective plumbing can manifest itself into two different ways, leaking, clogging. A visual inspection can detect leaking and an inspector will gauge water pressure by turning on all faucets in the highest bathroom and then flushing the toilet. If you hear the sound of running water, it indicates that the pipes are undersized. If the water appears dirty when first turned on at the faucet, this is a good indicator that the pipes are rusting, which can result in severe water quality problems. Two, inadequate wiring and electrical your home should have a minimum of 100 amp service. This should be clearly marked. Wire should be copper or aluminum. Home inspectors will look at octopus plugs as indicative of inadequate circuits and a potential fire hazard. Poor heating and cooling systems, insufficient insulation, and an inadequate or Poorly functioning heating system are the most common causes of poor heating. While an adequate fire clean surface without rust on the heat exchangers usually have life left in it, an inspector will be asking and checking to see if your furnace is over its typical lifespan of 50 to 25 years. For a forced air gas system, a heating exchanger will come under particular scrutiny since one that is that is cracked can emit deadly carbon monoxide into the home. These heat exchangers must be replaced if damaged. They just can't be repaired. Four, <clears throat> roofing problems. Water leakage through the roof can occur for a variety of reasons, such as physical deterioration of asphalt shingles, so like curling or splitting, or mechanical damage from a windstorm. When gutters leak and downspouts allow the water to run down and through the exterior walls, this external problem becomes a major internal one. Five, damp attic spaces. Problems with ventilation, insulation, and vapor barriers can cause water, moisture, mold, and mildew to form in the attic. This can lead to premature wear of the, the roof structure and building materials. The cost to fix this damage could easily run over $2,500. Six, rotting wood. This is, can occur in many places, doors or window frames, trims, siding, decks, and fences. The building inspector will sometimes probe the wood to see if this is present, especially when, when the wood has been freshly painted. So seven, mason root work. Rebroofing can be costly, but left unattended, these repairs can cause problems with water and moisture penetration into the home, which could lead to a chimney being clogged by falling bricks or even a chimney which falls onto the roof. It can be costly to rebuild a chimney or to have it repointed. Eight, unsafe and 
overfused electrical circuits. A fire hazard is created when one when more amperage is drawn on the circuit than was intended. 15 amp circuits are the most common in typical homes with larger services for large appliances such as stoves and dryers. It can cost several hundred dollars to replace your fuse panel with a circuit panel with a circuit panel. Nine, adequate security features more than a purchase security system. An inspector will look for the basic safety features that will protect your home, such as proper lock on the windows and patio doors, deadbolts on the doors, smoke and even carbon monoxide detectors in every bedroom and on every level. Even though pricing will vary, these components can add to your costs. Before purchasing or installing, you should check with your local expert, experts. And finally, 10. Structural foundation problems. An inspector will certainly investigate the underlying footing and foundation of your home as the structural integrity is, the fun, is fundamental to your home. Bye.